Woohoo! It is like Christmas in the van. And whenever one of us returns to the U.S., we always stock up on stuff. And this time, Snow was the mule. So she's got some well, stuff in here I'm well aware of. And she's some got surprises. some surprises. And you know, if you watched the last few episodes, I came back with so much I had to go buy another suitcase. But it's okay. It's all good. Clearly, G is curious, what is in this for me? That's his number one question. This is a delivery for our friends that you may remember we had our Christmas dinner with up at the farm in Italy. And I'm going to let them decide if they want to show you what this is. It's interesting and it's funny, but it's theirs and it's a little personal. So we will be meeting up with them in a few weeks, maybe here in Albania. And we'll see if they want to share that or not. <laughs> well, it's a sheep piece, so it it's allows a it's a sheep piece, so it allows a woman to pee standing, standing up. up. They just got a brand new fancy toilet, which we have not seen. Yeah, and apparently it swirls the poo up in a bag and puts it off to the side, so you don't want to waste those poos with just a pee. So she's going to experiment with a sheep pee. <laughs> All right, this is all drink mixes and drugs. Shoes. I got a new belt. Woohoo! And here's a big surprise. Toaster oven. Guys, we have a, that's a little toaster. It's a tiny oh. toaster that I did tons of research on to find the absolute shortest, <sighs> smallest, compact one I could find. Nothing fancy other than it won't take up much space. We have an oven and we can take to make toast in it. It only takes about five minutes, but you do have to open the cabinet, slide the door out, pull all the pans out. There's a bit of, because and, we live in a band, there's a bit that we have to do. And Kurt can't cook his breakfast scramble that he makes every morning on the cooktop and run the toaster oven at the same time. It too, takes too much power. Now, whether or not you'll be able to toast while you're cooking on the cooktop, we will have to see. But I yeah. think you'll be able to. Yeah, quick little toast. Perfect. This is a special delivery for Kurt from his mom. She had shipped it to my aunt's house. It's a little pre-birthday present, so there's a, a birthday card in there for him, but... Uh, this is my book from Tim, my buddy from high school, who we met in Croatia and wrote the book on Bosnia Herzegovina. So this is his book. So I am excited I have a copy of my own. Yeah. Thank you, Mama. She's always wanting always. to get me I birthday have... presents and send stuff to us, it but it's difficult. Hard. I had a birthday card waiting for me with a little bit of birthday money. Don't worry, Mom. I bought plenty of clothes with that birthday card. <laughs> 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 I got Ooh. some new pajama bottoms, guys, and look. Merch. It's merchandise. If you want to get some cozy, cozy lounge around the house pants, we got a, we got some van pants. Guys, we need some gas money. <laughs> Go to our merch store, please. All right, Snow got some big fluffy kitty cat slippers. I may have already showed them these. I put them on right away at home in Florida. But then look, look at there, more look. merch. This is Snow and Kurt on the side. It's got our logo there. Logo. Beautiful. You got gray, black, white, and you ready for this one? Whoa. <laughs> awesome. Woohoo! New caps for Kurt. All right, the second bag was loaded with more clothes. <laughs> A few other accessories for the van, like uh, some new of these things. New hinges. This one won't stay up anymore so that's gonna be nice to have that again and we also got some adapters for for Europe so we can plug our stuff in here she got lots of cough drops day quill night quill <laughs> and then some more merch so we'll be all geared up guys from a little beachside city called Vlor or Vlore, V-L-O-R-E, and the E has two little dots on top of it. 
We have been here for a few days. Last time we saw you, I think we were in Toronto picking up our luggage and unpacking all the goodies I brought from Kurt. And quite honestly, I needed a few days to chill and get over my jet lag and my fun-filled trip home. So we came down here and Kurt's cousin Mike, who you've met in past videos, came down here too. While I was resting, they took you on a cool little walkabout of this fun city. Showed you all kinds of cool stuff. Then came back and we've eaten and we've cafeed and we've chilled with Mike, but Mike has left. So it is time for us to move on from our wonderful free camping spot we had right here. Mike's hotel was right up there, so it worked out really well. But before we leave, we want to see the city a little bit better with our scooters. And we also need to find a few things like cat litter. So while Kurt's getting the scooters all put together, let's back up a couple of days and you get to go on that walk with Kurt and Mike, see a little bit more about this city. Then we're going to go run some errands. Good morning, everyone. We kind of have a little sea view right here, if you can see it through there. We do have a nice parking kind of near the beach on the edge of town in Valor, Albania. So this is probably a couple hours south of Tirana. And Snow, the whole van is so happy to have her back. I'm excited to have her back and uh, the kitties are excited. But she's got to catch up with her jet lag and on some other stuff. So anyway, I'm going to go for a walkabout. And guess what? Mike's still here. My cousin's still here. He's got a few more days before he needs to meet up back with his wife and continue on with his travels. So today we're going to go on a little walk. The sun is shining. It's beautiful. And uh, you know, I think we're going to go along the Malacan and up through the old town. I think it's going to be quite an interesting ride. Mike needs to arrange some transportation to get back to Tirana. So yeah, we're going to be doing some cool stuff today. So let's go. So Mike is staying here at the Duca Hotel. It's $40 a night for a Mountain Dew, 50, 50 euros a night for the ocean view. And of course, you know him, he's a rock star. So he's got the big suite out overlooking the beautiful Adriatic Sea. My reputation. <laughs> We've been having a great time. You guys are lucky he's gonna stick around for a few more days. And we're gonna go explore Valor. So as I said, we are kind of on the further south end of this sort of Malacan city area, but all along here there's big, I don't know whether they're hotels, apartments, condos, I think it's more of a mix, but at the base of each one they have really nice restaurants. So all along here you've got a mix of that going on with some little shops and stalls overlooking the Mediterranean Sea. And by the way, it is a sandy beach here. So you have some beautiful views, sandy beach, and then all of a sudden it opens up into this big park area. An interesting thing about Vlor or Vlora, I'm not sure how it's pronounced, but you have that whole big Malacan that we just showed you. And then as you walk more inland, that's where the old city center is. We're headed out that way, but we do have a stop off we need to make along the way. And if I haven't mentioned it before, one thing I'll mention is, and you see this all over in these little towns in Albania, under a shade tree somewhere, they play a lot of dominoes. And so they get pretty serious and pretty animated about it. But this is clearly, clearly a little area for that. So we've kind of turned up the main street here towards the city center. I think we might be off on a parallel road. But in any event, you can see the apartment styles here. I mean, they all kind of seem to carry on almost the same architectural flair, if you will. Lots of pastel colors, balconies, clothes hanging off the balconies, flowers, all the stuff. It has a really, really cool look to the city. It looks like the buildings are actually, I guess, maybe 10 to 12 stories tall. And all of them have storefronts on the first floor with different shops and uh, like a hardware store or plumbing or all your basic supplies you need for, for living. 
So the first order of business is figuring out Mike's transportation back to Tirana or to wherever else he decides to go. And so this is a little transport place. My wristwatch is broken. My shoes are untied. Time is a ticking. And so is the tide. But I am not worried. Things are what they are. Come rain or come shine or a shooting star. I've been to the south, been to the north, east and the west, the middle of course. I may have been astray, but I never been lost, never been beat by the road I've crossed. I guess I've been lucky to some degree for someone who ate all the food from the tree. The stars been aligned and my goose hanging high. I'll be okay in the sweet by and by. I was born at First day of June, 1900 and something and two. My mom was a sweetheart, my father was too. They left me a watch and an old pair of shoes. I guess I've been lucky to some degree for someone. I think at this point it's safe to say that we're kind of just wandering around and this is kind of the map that says there's an old town area and well it doesn't look so old but we did see a big open square with a big pink building here, which looks like a building of importance. It's got some flags in front of it and uh, all these shops around. But I think we're gonna give up our search for Old Town and maybe find a little beverage. What are you drinking under there, Mike? I got this uh, Palmer Weiser. Oh. All right, right there we go. And I'm having a little Korsha. Like mine's Albanian beer. I think yours is a German beer, right? It's German wheat beer. German wheat beer. Yeah. Safety first. We got about 100 feet down the road and uh, realized we had drove off without putting on our helmets. So we're running back to the van, grabbing our helmets. And then our first stop will be a grocery store. It's supposed to be a pretty good one. We don't need much from the grocery store. What we're really on the lookout for is a high quality cat litter. And we have yet to find one of those in Albania. So cross your fingers, guys. I gotta tell you guys, these little scooters are fun and they're quick. And we got up to this little area on the Malacan that widens out into a big park. Now there was a stadium and a basketball court set up here the other day, but some kind of military exercise or presentation has rolled in. So you can see the police kind of here sort of blocking the road. There's some military guys over there setting up some kind of camouflage deal. And then over here, there's like a bunch of dummies, like maybe search and rescue, maybe extraction out of an automobile. Not sure, but anyway, it looks uh, pretty interesting. So the more I'm looking at this, so they've got some guns set up here. The more I look at this, they're setting some tables out. I kind of believe this might be a military recruiting 
activity. So we made it down to the Conad. This is kind of an Italian uh, brand grocery store, big one. And we did find some kitty litter that we will, do think will work. It's a bananas and blueberries. And it had a really cool ride here. Yeah, and what I want to tell you is Glore, well, I actually Googled it so I know how to say it now. The E with the two little dots, I, they're saying Vlora, like an A. I, I don't know, so Vlora is the third most populated city in Albania. Probably has around 160, 170,000 people that live here. It sits on the southwest coast and it's on the beautiful Adriatic Sea. What is super cool about it is it was founded by the ancient Greeks in 6th century BC. And they inhabited this area all the way up to 200 AD. And then of course it's been passed back and forth from empire to empire. But this thing has been here for almost 3,000 years. So it's got some cool history, but now it's a metropolitan city with everything you need. So on our way back from running errands, they had the military, it's gotta be a recruiting day, set up with all the different forces, all the fun, cool gadgets that the different branches get to use. Pretty cool. It's a lot like we would do it at home. <laughs> all right, back to the van. So you're in a hurry, well you better calm down We're all friends around you, just join the fun Cause if you're in a hurry, you're missing the point Should enjoy the fruits of life instead of chasing coins Another successful scooter adventure in the books. Woohoo! Loading them up, hitting the road for a little adventure before we head to our next camp. Laura has been a pretty cool little town, or I guess big city. There's our kitties. There they are. Our next campsite is about 20 minutes south of this little beach stretch of Laura. But before we headed south, we needed to take a little detour and go north about 15 or 20 minutes through some sort of a natural preserve, national park reserved area with tons of really cool big pine tree looking things. And we did that to get out here to an area where you can walk across, I guess this is a lagoon, it looks like it's salt water, and get over to a monastery. It's a really cool little weavy boardwalk. Um, it looks like there's probably flamingos in this area, but it is very windy today and very hazy. And once you get to the gate on the other side of this boardwalk, you're not allowed to film. So you're gonna have to let me just tell you what is over there. It is a monastery and a church. It is the St. Mary of Divinity Church. They're, they don't know exactly when it was built, but they believe in the 1350s to 1370s, the second half of the 14th century. 
and it's still today an active monastery. You can see where it looks like, I guess they're monks or whatever they are, live over there. And Kurt went inside the building that we're not allowed to video or take pictures of. And what'd you see in there? It was pretty cool. It had like a stone dome inside of it, so brick. And so inside there was natural light that came in through the dome. And we've seen them in some of the history museums, but it's like a wooden carved wall with various religious pictures, arts, and different texts and things like that. So it was really kind of unique the way the old stone and the lighting kind of worked in there. It was, it was cool. But we had to respect the rules and there was no video over there, but the walk across, it's so breezy and the sea breeze was nice. It's too bad there's a haze, but it was still a very enjoyable walk. It'd be a perfect day if it was clear and glassy. Mm -hmm. We could fly the drone mm -hmm. through yeah. you, but we can't. We can't. So you're going to have to trust us that it was really cool. You do get to see the boardwalk. And now we are southbound to our campsite, which is supposed to be beach front. So let's go. All right, we have stopped off for lunch under a beautiful tree. The weather is perfect. And as we walk back to the van, I'm going to take y'all down to that water because I can't even explain the color blue that water is. But what did we get, Kurt? We got a pizza, a salad, and mussels. I've been told I need to get some mussels along this Albania coast. and. Today's the day, so nice lunch and onto the camp spot. Albania has done it again. We thought we were ordering snack sized mussels. And look at Kurt's giant bowl. <laughs> it translated to a cup of mussels, so we thought it was a little snack size. Kurt's got him a whole plate. Are they as good as you heard? They're good. Perfect. <laughs> Easy peasy. And I'm gonna have a slice of pizza with my Greek salad. I think we may have leftovers. We'll see though. I told y'all I'd walk you down here closer to this water. Look at that pretty different shades of blue. The lighter blue, the dark blue, a deep turquoise emerald color out there. In the distance through the haze, you may be able to see it. Over there is Vlora, the city we were just at for a few days. But we are southbound. Just had our lunch. Gotta go through this tunnel, get to our campsite. We made it to our campsite. If you look right over there, it's the main reason we're gonna settle into a campsite for a couple of days. We need to do some laundry. So we got the campsite to ourselves right now. The restaurant's still closed. We're rolling into the season, but it's not quite open yet. But there's our spot. And watch this. Watch this, guys. Not a bad place to hunker down for a couple of days. <laughs> Get some laundry done. Edit a video. Smell some salt air. Look at some pretty blue water. Look at that. Oh, it's beautiful. All right, guys. This is where we're going to wind this video down. We will see y'all in a few days from this beautiful, I mean beautiful, Albanian Riviera coastline. Wow. Cheers, guys. If you like this video, be sure to subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell so you guys know when we put out new videos. And don't forget, you can always follow us over on Instagram to see what's going on in between videos. Cheers, guys!